Maguindano, Maguindanon, Dilapa sa Magindana, is a province in the Philippines located in the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao, ARMM. Since 2014 the provincial capital is Baluan but the legislative branch of the provincial government, the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, convenes in the old provincial capital in the town of Sultan Kudarat. It borders Lanao del Sur to the north, Cotabato to the east, Sultan Kudarat to the south, and the Alana Bay to the west. History Precolonial and Spanish eras Sharif Muhammad Kabungsuwan of Johor introduced Islam in the area at the end of the 15th century. He subsequently married a local princess from the Maranao tribe of Malabang and Maguindano province, and established the Sultanate of Maguindano. The Cotabato Valley formed the Sultanate's heartland but its influence extended from the Zamboanga Peninsula to Sarangani Bay and Davao. The Spaniards launched expeditions to subdue the area throughout the colonial era but they never gained control of the region until the middle of the 19th century after the Spaniards established a military post at what is now Barangay Tamantaka, one of the earliest Christian settlements founded south of the Philippines, in present-day Cotabato City. Spaniards already took with them Chavacanos and Chavacano-speaking Muslims from Zamboanga and Basilan and Cebuanos. Chavacanos being brought by Spaniards are the reason of existing Chavacano dialect in Cotabato City called Cotabateño, evolved from Zamboangueño. American Era and World War II The historical province of Cotabato covered the present area of Maguindano. In 1903, the American colonial government established the Moro province and made Cotabato as one of its districts. Upon the conversion of the Moro province into the Department of Mindanao and Sulu in 1914, the districts were made into provinces. In 1942, the Japanese imperial forces entered what is now Maguindano. In 1945, Maguindano was liberated by Allied Philippine Commonwealth troops and Maguindanao and guerrilla units after defeating the Japanese imperial forces in the Battle of Maguindano during the Second World War. Creation as a province the territory of the old province of Cotabato was reduced in 1966 when several of its municipalities were separated from it and constituted into the newly created province of South Cotabato. In 1973, Cotabato was dissolved when it was split to create three new provinces, Maguindano, North Cotabato and Sultan Kudarat. Maguindano is the only Muslim-majority province of the four created out of the original Cotabato province. In 1989, majority of its voters opted to join the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao but Cotabato City did not, which, ironically, has since served as the provisional capital of the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao ARMM, and hosted line agency offices for the province. Sharif Kabunshuan Creation and Nullification on October 31, 2006, Maguindano voters approved the creation of a new province to be composed of 10 towns from the province. Of more than 500,000 voters registered, 285,372 favored the creation of the province, and 8,802 voted against it. The new province, Sharif Kabunshuan, established through Muslim Mindanao Autonomy Act No. 201 by the ARMM Regional Legislative Assembly, became the country's 80th province and the 6th in the ARMM. It was composed of the towns of Datu Odin Sinshuat, Kabuntalan, Upi, Sultan Kudarat, Datu Blati Sinshuat, Sultan Mastara, Parang, Buldan, Matanog and Barira. However, in July 2008, the Supreme Court, in an 8-6 vote, nullified the province's creation, restoring its municipalities to Maguindano, ruling that, "...only Congress can create provinces and cities because the creation of provinces and cities necessarily includes the creation of legislative districts." 2009 election violence on November 23, 2009, a 2010 gubernatorial election caravan supporting Esmail Mangudadatu, vice mayor of Baluan, was attacked. Fifty-seven people were killed, including Mangudadatu's wife and sisters, supporters, local journalists, and bystanders. 
On December 4, 2009, a number of homes belonging to the Ampatuan political family were raided in connection with the massacre. President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo officially declared martial law in the province of Maguindano on December 5, 2009, Saturday morning, in a press conference past 7 a.m. Executive Secretary Eduardo Ermita announced Proclamation No. 1959 declaring a state of martial law and suspending the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus in the province of Maguindano, except for certain areas is identified as bailiwicks of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front MILF separatists, the declaration of martial law led to the arrests without warrants of other members of the Ampatuan clan who have been linked to the November 23 massacre of 58 civilians. On August 15, 2011, Mangudadatu and his convoy were ambushed as they were on their way to his birthday celebration. Mamasapano Clash on January 25, 2015, 44 members of the Special Action Force were killed after they killed the Jama'a Islamiya terrorist Zulkaifali Abdir aka Marwan, by allegedly Moro Islamic Liberation Front and Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters in Mamasapano, Maguindano. 2016 El Niño on February 2016, Maguindano experienced the effects of the 2014-16 El Niño, causing destruction on rice and corn fields due to drought. The province declared a state of calamity in response to the damages caused. Geography Maguindano is situated in the central section of Mindanao, bordered by Lanao del Sur to the north, Cotabato to the east, Sultan Kudarat to the south, and the Alana Bay to the west. Administrative divisions Maguindano comprises 36 municipalities, further subdivided into 508 barangays. Cotabato City, although geographically grouped with Maguindano, is administratively independent from the province as well as from the ARMM. The province is divided into two congressional districts. In October 2006, the first congressional district was split off into a new province, Sharif Kabunshuan. However, the ARMM's act creating the province was nullified by the Supreme Court in July 2008, on the basis that creation of a province is a function of the Philippine legislature. The area has since reverted to the province of Maguindano. Proposed Provincial Division House Bill No. 5185 was introduced in the House of Representatives on March 2, 2017 by third-term Representative Bai Sandra Sima who is barred by law to run for another term in her current district in 2019. It seeks to establish a new province called Maguindano North, consisting of 13 municipalities, of which Datu Odin Sinchuit will be the designated capital. The independent city of Cotabato will be grouped with the proposed province only for the purposes of congressional representation. The creation of the new legislative district of Maguindano North will allow Rep. Sima to run for governor in the new province as she is prohibited to run for another term as representative. Demographics the population of Maguindano in the 2015 census was 1,173,933 people. When Cotabato City is included for geographical purposes, the province's population is 1,473,371 people. The majority of the people in Maguindano are Maguindanaoans. The Iranans which dominate the northern towns of Parang, Barira, Buldan and Matanog make up the second largest group with 18.4%. The Tedores, which are the Lumads of the southwestern highlands of the province make up 8.4% of the entire population, while Hiligaynans and Cebuanos constitute the remaining significant groups in the province with each making up 3.2% of the population. The main language is Maguindano and Iranan. Cebuano, Hiligaynon and Chavacano are also spoken by both Christians and Muslims. The dialect of Chavacano native to Cotabato City is called Cotabateño, which evolved from the Zamboangueño dialect. Also spoken are Tagalog, as well as English and Arabic. Religion 
Maguindano inhabitants are predominantly practitioners of Islam, which comprises 82.99% of the population, majority of which are Sunnites, with a minority of Christians, mostly Roman Catholics, who are mostly Cebuanos, Alangos, and Chavacanos. Roman Catholics of Maguindano fall under the jurisdiction of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Kitapawan, a suffragan of the Archdiocese of Cotabato. Iglesia Ni Cristo, Inc. has several locales in Maguindano. Government Maguindano is divided into two congressional districts, which elect members to the House of Representatives. For the brief period that the province of Sharif Kabunshuan existed, Maguindano became a lone district province. Since the appointment of a new set of provincial officials for the reunified province of Maguindano by the ARMM governor in January 2009, the provincial government has reverted to the Sangguniang Panlalawigan district configuration from before Sharif Kabunshuan was created. Having elected to join the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao ARMM, Maguindano also sends six representatives three per SP district to the ARMM Regional Legislative Assembly that convenes in Cotabato City. Provincial capital When the province was established in 1973, the designated seat of government was the municipality of Maganoy. The first appointed governor, Simeon Datamanong, held office in Limpongo, a former barangay in Maganoy which is now part of the municipality of Datu Hafer Ampachuan. Datamanong's successor Zakaria Kandao, on the other hand, held office at P.C. Hill, the site of the former headquarters of the Philippine Constabulary in Cotabato City, an autonomous chartered city not under Maguindano. S. Provincial Jurisdiction In 1977 following the resignation of Kandao, President Ferdinand Marcos moved the province's seat of government to the municipality of Sultan Kudarat, hometown of the newly appointed governor Sangakala Baraguir by virtue of Presidential Decree No. 1170. During his term Baraguir held office at the then newly constructed provincial capital in that municipality. S. Burji. Sime Crossing, the next governor, Sandial Sambalawan, held office in his hometown of Maganoy following his election to the governorship in 1980. In an attempt to legitimize the restoration of Maganoy's status as the seat of provincial government, Batas Pambansa VLG, 211 was enacted in 1982, but with the explicit provision that the change will only take effect after a plebiscite affirms the transfer. A plebiscite was scheduled for 18 December 1982, but was never administered, thus making the municipality of Sultan Kudarat still capital of Maguindano by law de jure, but Maganoy being the capital in practice de facto. Following the end of the Marcos regime, the next two governors, Zakaria Kandao (1986–1992, 1995–2001), and Noradin Matalam (1992–1995). Both held office in the existing capital at Sultan Kudarat, thereby restoring the municipality's status as both de jure and de facto provincial capital from 1986 to 2001. Despite the lack of legal justification in the form of a law amending P.D. No 1170 of 1977 or the passage of a supporting Sangguaniang Panlalawigan SP resolution, the next governor, Andal Ampachuan Sr., governor from 2001 to 2008, and his successor, son Sajid Ampachuan, 2008-2009, held office in the Ampachuan clan stronghold of Sharif Aguak, renamed from Maganoy in 1996, citing security concerns connected to clan rivalry. A new 218 pesos million provincial capital complex, inaugurated in 2009 in the presence of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, was located adjacent to the homes of the Ampachuans, and sat on a piece of Amapshuan clan land that had not been legally deeded to the government. The Ampachuans were even known to spend more time within the satellite offices. They set up within their private properties, despite though the new capital being located adjacent to their homes, Esmail Mangudadatu, who took office after defeating Andal Ampachuan Jr. in the 2010 gubernatorial election, cited security concerns when he decided to work from a satellite office. Named the Raja Buayan Silongan Peace Center, in his hometown of Baluan, this move was supported by Resolution No. 5, Series 2010, of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan of Maguindano. 
SP Resolution No. 78, dated 3 May 2011, further allowed the transfer of the legislative branch of the provincial government to the rehabilitated old capital site in Brgy. Sime Crossing, Sultan Kudarat. This effectively made both Baluan and Sultan Kudarat located 120 kilometers apart by road. The seats of the executive and legislative branches of provincial government respectively, on 3 April 2012, the SP of Maguindano issued Resolution No. 132, reiterating that the town of Sultan Kudarat was the capital of Maguindano. However this was superseded by a new resolution passed in 2014 naming Baluan the new capital of Maguindano. Baluan S. Raja Buayan Silongan Peace Center now serves as the provisional capital building, pending the completion of the executive building in the new capital complex. However, the legislative branch of provincial government, the Sangguniang Panlalawigan of Maguindano, continues to hold sessions in the rehabilitated buildings of the old provincial capital in Sime, Sultan Kudarat, the Ampatuan built former provincial capital complex in Sharif Aguak, initially planned to be converted for public school use, is now set to become the new headquarters of the ARMM's Bureau of Fire Protection. Musical heritage The native Maguindanone culture revolves around Kulintang music, a specific type of gong music, found among both Muslim and non-Muslim groups of the southern Philippines. References External links Media related to Maguindano at Wikimedia Commons Maguindano Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Geographic data related to Maguindano at OpenStreetMap Comalec Resolution No. 8169 Comalec Plebiscite Results for Three New Maguindano Municipalities Local Governance Performance Management System